cute is this dress? Very cute. It's second hand and it only cost me 10 pounds including shipping. And I found many other treasures which I'd like to show you today. Let's do it! Okay, I'm not just going to show you the items, but I shall also style them. Nice. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Editing Andrea here. Before we pretend like nothing happened, let's not pretend like nothing happened. I am, of course, talking about the video, How I Met My Husband. The response from you was overwhelming. Not only did you enjoy the video, but you also shared your stories. Simone, do you want to say hello? Good. Your stories were beautiful, some were unexpected, others were bittersweet. For those who haven't read the comments, I'm not going to spoil them for you. I highly recommend sitting down with a cup of tea like I did and reading through that comment section. It's worth the read and I cannot thank you enough for sharing your stories. Thank you. And of course, there will be a follow-up story time in which you might see a photo of my husband. I still need to ask his permission, but I think it'll be fine. And to make sure that you don't miss out on the story time and many other videos, of course, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I upload a video. Okay, now back to the thrift haul. You wanna be in the frame? Let's start with this dress. It's by Morgan, by the way. And if you go on eBay, Vinted or Vestia Collective, you might be able to find one for yourself too. Okay, because the dress is already quite gorgeous, I wouldn't really go overboard with the accessories. And because the dress is playful, I don't want to use modern looking jewelry. Let's use these earrings. I know what you're thinking. Andrea, you just said you're not going overboard with the accessories. Well, I am not, because whilst they're huge, you can barely see them against my black hair. I like it. Shoes. Nude sparkle shoes to elongate the legs. Or black Stuart Weitzmans. I feel like these ones. A cute little bag. That's outfit number one. Oh, I forgot to mention that you can tell me which outfit is your favorite at the end of the video. Thank you. Next up is this top. It's also from Morgan and it's gorgeous. And I was thinking of pairing her with this little tutu skirt. Gorgeous, super cute. I like it. I like how the frills of the skirt mirror the ones in the top. Very good, very good. Hmm, what sort of accessories are we looking at? I'm opting for this black Monet choker necklace. It's vintage, baby. Quite cute. What if we add a little brooch? I mean, it's not little. Gosh, that's cute. Okay, shoes. Nice. That's outfit two. Now moving on to this beauty. How cute is she? Super cute. But I want to use my new skirt. This one. Very nice. Let's go with some cute bling. Because I know that there are lots of fellow magpies out there. Cute. Matching earrings. Nice. Maybe some more bling bling. Very subtle, but cute. Boots. Gorgeous. That's outfit number three. Outfit number four involves this gorgeous dress. It really is gorgeous. Look at the pretty lace. Very nice. It's giving gothic lombarda. But the waistline could be better. So what do we do? Easy. Bernadette. I'm coming. Bernadette will cinch us in. There we go. Much better. Let's pop this side of my hair up. Like so. And let's add a flower too. Cute. I think here the earrings are too much. Now the shoes. That's outfit number four. Outfit number five involves a cute two-piece. There we go, quite straightforward. This is how I'd wear her, just with a crop top. And then some simple pointy heels. It's already getting dark and the light is crap, I'm sorry. Really looking forward to spring. Silver hoops, with some crystals of course. A square vintage bag, that's outfit number five. For outfit six, we're going to use this gorgeous vintage maxi skirt. And for the top, we're going to use this beautiful vintage sequin bolero. Nice. So people usually wear boleros open like this. But I have an idea. You can put a safety pin inside and style the bolero this way. This way you've got some dynamic lines going on here. Much more interesting. Very good. Gorgeous. You could even add a brooch here if you wanted. But today I don't feel broochy. What I love about floor length maxi skirts is that it doesn't really matter what you wear in terms of shoes. No one's gonna see them. So I could totally get away with just wearing my battered ballet flats. They're very old, but incredibly comfy. I'm opting for these sparkly earrings. I think I changed my mind. I want bigger ones. Better. And this earring I'm going to attach to the bolero. Gorgeous. And this is outfit six. Glamorous, but comfy. Let me actually show you what it would look like with these fancy shoes. 
Hmm. Do you know what? I don't think it should be an open toe shoe. Come to mama. Let's try these ones. That's better. Or do you prefer the other ones? For outfit seven, let's use this gorgeous, gorgeous MSGM skirt. Such beautiful liquid fabric. I like it. Cute. Let's change the top. Nice. That's already quite cute. I love the skirt. Let's try adding a belt. Aliyah. I'm coming. Okay, Aliyah, let's see what you got. Voila. This bag or this one. This Vivian Westwood bag is cool, but it's not the right shade of red. Bama. Let's add these earrings because they go well with the texture of the skirt and the belt. Nice. That's outfit number seven. For outfit number eight, I want to use this beautiful blouse. That's the blouse on. Very romantic with all the flowers. And I'm thinking white jeans. Nice. Let's button her up. Shove, shove. Shove, shove. Nice. Now the shoes. I think new tears would look quite good. And now maybe some long silver earrings. One, two. Good. A silver bag. And this is outfit eight. Outfit 9 involves a vintage blazer and a sequin mini skirt. There we go, that's how that looks. Let's add a pop of color. Gorgeous. Let's add a brooch too. Maybe as a necklace. This bag or this bag? I think this one. Because it goes with the gold hardware and the blazer. Nice. And the last outfit involves even more sparkles. So I got it second hand, but you can actually still get it on ASOS. At least in the UK. That's the item. It's actually currently on sale, so if you want it, be quick. So on the website, the model wears the top like this. But I think I prefer it like that, because it's more comfortable and allows you to move more freely. In terms of shoes, I'd keep it simple, which means new shoes. By the way, when I say new shoes, what I mean is shoes that come closest to the color of your skin, because obviously we're all different. These shoes happen to be quite close to my skin color. Nice. And here's a little trick for you. If your clothes are warm-toned, but you are actually cool-toned, Use some chunky cool tone jewelry around your face, like so, because then you can still wear your warm toned outfits that don't actually suit you very well and look purposeful. It doesn't always work, but I think here it does work. Then I'm adding a silver bag so that the earrings have a friend and we're done. So you see, to look good, you don't have to spend many monies. Just buy secondhand or vintage. Which outfit was your favorite?